Hi everyone, so today we'll be doing a different opening. So you know I usually don't do one piece, but like I said I have opened one uh, one box of OP04 and I thought that the foils really look fantastic. So I end up opening uh, one box each of OP01, 02, 03, the third set. And now this is OP05, the fifth set. So yeah, just going to give it an open. Uh, since I'm not really familiar with one piece, okay, we do have a rarity breakdown over here. Of course it doesn't help much because they don't really say um, the rarity it just says the, the type of cards I guess but anyway still not a fan of how Bandai you know seal their product no plastic seal or anything just a tape I said very easy for people to just uh, reseal this because it is a fixed ratio with no per box so this doesn't help okay uh, doesn't seem to have any box hopper promo or anything the packs do look good though we see Luffy in the fifth gear form right I believe so anyway, okay, not going to waste too much time, let's just go straight into our packs. Uh, of course, if you are not familiar with Bandai TCG, their cards are a lot thicker. You can hear the difference uh, between this versus a white source card, so I always uh, appreciate that. Uh, foils look fantastic, at least in my opinion. Even like the normal rarity foils, this is a normal rarity foil. But we also do know from the very limited boxes that I opened, it is a fixed ratio. I do believe uh, 5 high rarity cards per box. But yeah, let's see. But yeah, the artwork is fantastic. I mean, One Piece is a very iconic, iconic TCG, so definitely it shows in the artwork. Yeah, look at this. This is our first SR. Look at the border. Like I said, very nice looking voice. Okay, pack 3. I always like the artwork that features like from the manga. I think those looks really good. Okay, second SR. Look at that. Okay. But you know, One Piece is just one series where I started, but because it's so long, right, I couldn't get myself through it. So I really not up to date on the latest development of the crew and what they're up to. Like I said, this kind, like, you know, it looks like very manga kind of art style. I think this looks fantastic. I love these cards a lot. But this is just a R rarity, like you see, R rarity. That R rarity foil looks pretty good. Okay, let's keep going. Oh wow, this is an SEC of Luffy. Look at that. Very very nice. Well, it's not a manga or anything, but still, wow. Brilliant looking card, look at this. Okay, okay, before I put him down, let me just take a closer look. We can see this is a SEC rarity. Look at that. Look at that texture. Look at that artwork. Very nice. Okay. So yeah, we I guess we put our one parallel from the box. I don't think we will see any other parallel. And that's why it means by fixed ratio, right? But still... Uh, let's keep going. Uh, I'm not sure. We still have some SR cards to pull. I really wonder how good they will look. Rare foil. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you see me pause for a little bit because I am enjoying the artwork. I think those are very nice. I think this series has really some phenomenal artwork. Okay, this is a rare as well. Now it seems like the rare foils don't really stand out as much. I think the previous sets, the foils do stand out a little more. Not sure why though. But yeah, look at this. Like I said, the manga panel kind of art style really looks great. Okay, let's see what other cards. We're still missing some SR. So, uh, they should be buried somewhere in our remaining packs. And we still have a foil Dawn to uncover. So that's also something to look up for. No idea where those cards are, but I think there is a lot more packs compared to previous boxes. I'm not sure. It does feel that way to me. But you know, I don't usually do One Piece, so I'm not very familiar with this series. But yeah, see, 
I guess those with the border contains like this kind of special border is like manga kind of art style, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't open enough to really tell for, for sure. So all I can infer is like from like the box. Like, I mean, you can see this kind of background, I guess it indicates it's a manga panel, manga artwork panel, I think. Yeah, it does look like that way. And I guess those silver border in a way is full art characters. Okay, let's let's keep going. I mean, I'm just um, making some guesses based on what I'm seeing as I'm opening the pack. Yeah, like, like you see, the gold border does seem to indicate that it's like a manga kind style kind of artwork. Let's see if we can have, oh, a foidon and more manga artwork. Okay, so this is a foidon. Very nice. Look at that artwork. That is really crazy, man. <laughs> cool. Keep going. The Don cards also seem to feature artwork that is very iconic from the manga. Do we have any some silver borders for us to get some indication what kind of cards they are? Or are silver borders reserved for uh, SR or special rare? Rare. We are definitely not hitting our box rate of SR yet. There should be, I think, at least two more. Yeah, I mean, all these are just basic rarity. Although I do like the artwork, even though they are uh, base rarity, right? Yeah, still only just rare, and we are down to our final four pack. Oh, a leader card, right? Wow, but look at this kind of manga panel. Like I said, this is just a base variety foil, but the artwork looks fantastic. That is why, you know, when I'm not super, super into One Piece, what I do is at least uh, I will just get a box each for each of the set just to experience some of this amazing, amazing artwork. Okay, there we go. So it seems like our SRR, this silver border with a full character portrait. Very nice. Still one more SR, I believe. Okay, so I guess it should be in this last pack. So it seems like only 3 SR, 1 Foidon and 1 Special Rarity. It's okay, I will take that. I didn't miss any, right? Just checking through. Yeah, I don't think I did. So that's interesting, I would definitely thought that it would be more than 3 SR. But like I said, I don't open enough for One Piece to really know. But even so, very happy with this SEC pool because Luffy looks really really amazing in this card. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this opening. Like I said, uh, don't usually do One Piece, but if you are interested in other Japanese TCG like White Source, Rebirth for You, Union Arena, and uh, Build Divide, do subscribe to the channel because we do open those series a lot more regularly. And also we are doing monthly giveaway. So all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on any video, and at the end of every month, we will do a draw where we'll be giving someone something special. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, it's really a good time to do so. Hope you guys enjoyed this very quick opening, and I will see you all back for more TCG stuff soon. Bye now!